Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13 to 14, which says, Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Let all that you do be done with love. Today I want to talk about standing fast in the faith. We are to be on guard, to stand fast, tall, and firm in the faith, our faith. There comes a time where we all have to stand on our own faith, what we truly believe, and that's established in our relationship with God. Oftentimes, uh, young children are raised in a Christian home and, and they go to church their entire lives. But at some point, they can't live on the skirt tails of, of their parents. They can't get by on, on their faith. They have to go on their own faith. And whether it's a child or an adult, we all have to at some point stand in our relationship with God alone because there will be a time in our lives where the enemy attacks and there is no one there for us, but yet God is. So it's so important that we stand on our own and it's out of that intimacy with God. Ephesians 6 verse 11 tells us to put on the whole armor of God so that we would be able to know how to stand against the wiles of the devil. And in um, verse 14 to 17, it tells us what the armor is, the belt of truth. We want to walk in truth. We want to wear truth as part of our, ar our armor. Lies and deception are from the enemy, not from God. We want to wear the breastplate of righteousness. And remember, we're not righteous on our own. We have the righteousness of Christ Jesus. It's what he did for us, and that's our righteousness, not our own works. We're to wear the shoes of the gospel of peace. And it's a peace that the world doesn't know. It's a peace that God gives us that we can have in the, in the midst of a, a fiery battle in the midst of, of a, a whirlwind of, of trouble. God has that peace for us. We're to use our shield of faith. The enemy throws fiery darts at us and the shield of faith is the only thing that quenches them. We're to wear the helmet of salvation, reminding ourselves that we are to protect our mind, to renew our minds by the Word of God, because God is the one who renews our mind as we put in His Word. We need our minds cleansed from all the lies that we've believed, from the, all the uh, negative thoughts and negative words that have been spoken over us and then we're to take hold of the sword of the Spirit which is God's Word that is the weapon that God has given to us first Peter 5 verse 9 says that we're to resist him and it's talking about Satan being steadfast in the faith knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world we can refuse to listen to the natterings of the enemy and he'll natter all day long if you'll listen. But don't listen. Don't listen to his words that you can't do that or you're not good enough or, or whatever his nattering is. Don't listen to him. Resist the temptation to listen to him. Resist those lies. Hebrews 10, 23 says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. See, we put our trust in the faithfulness of God. God alone is faithful at all times. I have two challenges for you today. The first one, list your area, the areas in your life where you have stopped standing. Sometimes, you know, it's so easy to let things slide. You're believing for something and then it, it seems hard, so you let it slide. But list those areas. And the second one, for each area you listed, repent to God and choose to stand firm and fight the good fight of faith. Bless you as you stand firm in your faith today. We'll see you tomorrow.